right, so you got your Fold 7. It's absolutely awesome, and I have many, many congratulations to you, okay? But these are 10, 10, 10 things you really need to do on your Fold 7 once you get it. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so you just received your awesome Z Fold 7, and it looks absolutely awesome. I don't, I don't want to drop it, but it looks absolutely awesome. So I'm going to make your Fold 7 even more awesome. Let's just dive right into it. There's no order to this. Let me know in the comment section below if this video was helpful, okay? First up is going to be the control center. As you can see, when I swipe down, this is the uh, notification center, and this is the control center. So the way you fix that, basically, they changed it. So the way you fix that is basically click on that edit icon. Click on that and edit icon. Once you do that, you click on the panel settings. Once you once you are inside the panel, once you're inside the panel settings, you have the option for separate or together. So in this case, you can actually make it to the left side as well if you want that. But in this case, I'm just gonna click on together. So when you once you click on together, you can just go back all the way. You don't have to do anything else. And you can see that that I don't have to I don't have to go right or left. Basically, everything is built into it. As you can see, you have the control center, you have the notifications. Really handy, really super super helpful. Next up, we're gonna be spending some time into the settings page. Basically, all the time into the settings. But I'm gonna show you exactly what setting is what for. Okay, so go to the settings page. Now, once you're inside the settings page, the first one will be inside the display settings. So scroll down just a tiny bit until you find the display right there see okay so inside the display there's a lot of settings okay so i'm gonna i'm not gonna go one by one i'm just gonna show you the useful ones the ones that you actually use okay or actually i use so in this case the first up inside the display is called uh just a scroll scroll down just a tidy bit until you find something called edge edge panels right there see it's called edge panels and you can see it's turned off right there but all you have to do is just turn it on and i'm going to show you what this is so if you are into the main menu, you will see some, there is a tiny bit of a shadow right there. So if you swipe it like that, you can, you can have a lot of apps like that, which I'm going to show you how you can do, how you can edit it. Once you're inside the edit panel settings, you can just click on the panels. You can add a different panels if you want to. So if you call a lot, if you talk to people a lot, you can just add contacts in this wall. And if you have the, you know, you can add weather as well. In this case, I'm just going to add two and you can edit the apps as well. So in this case, I do, I don't use the Samsung browser, but I do use the Chrome. So I'm just gonna drag that all the way to the panel right there, see? Go back and once you do that, you can just swipe down and you can see the edge panels are pretty awesome. And by the way, the way you access the context, just swiped it down and you can just add a low. Yep, right there, see? Okay, there you go. There, there you go, see? I have all the contacts and it works pretty awesome. So next up, right below the edge panels, it's called taskbar. So make sure it's turned on. Actually, <laughs> make sure it's turned on and you can see the couple of settings that you really need to pay attention to. In this case, you can you can add the settings to actually find the apps that are uh, uh, that you use recently, okay? So in this case, you can actually add the apps if you want to. So in this case, there's three apps. You can add more if you want to. And by the way, the settings you need to change is to auto hide when apps are open. So in this case, as you can see, there is no taskbar, even though I have enabled the taskbar. So to access the taskbar, you can just swipe it like that and it will automatically go away if you don't, if you're not using it. So in this case, right there, see, if I'm using this app, if I'm, if I'm using anything other than the taskbar, it will automatically go away. As you can see, it's, it won't go away. It won't go away, but if I use this, there you go. So pretty, uh, pretty lovely, right? Next up, inside the display settings, as you can see, there is a setting called continue apps on cover screen. And now this is really helpful, by the way. So to explain this, as you can see, it says never. All you have to do is, if you want the auto mode, you can actually set it to always, or if you don't want, you want specific apps that you'd really need to be onto the cover screen, you can select that as well. So I'm just gonna click on always, as you can see, I am on settings, and if I swipe, if I actually, if I close my phone, as you can see, I'm back onto the settings. Now, I mean, let me just, oh my God, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, so if you want the specific apps to do that, you can actually select those, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I always set it on always, because sometimes I have to just close the phone and use the phone, so yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's pretty much it in the display. Next up, we have to go to the battery. Now, this is really helpful. So once you're inside the battery, you can see there is called battery protection. 
click that and you have to manually enable the battery protection as you can see and set it to basic mode. Don't ask me the reason behind it. It's it is going to help you. It's going to help your phone. It's going to help you fold. Next up is going to be the home screen. So go to the settings and find something called home screen. As you can see right there, I'll call it the home screen. Now inside the home screen, just click on home screen. Now inside this home screen, there's a lot of great settings, but the main thing that you really need to check is the cover, cover screen mirroring. This means basically that anything on my covers, covers display would automatically be on my uh, home display, which is which is what, what doesn't make any sense because I want this to be completely different than the the main one. So, for example, let's just say if I if I remove this, let me just remove this. Okay, so if I remove this and I go back to my home screen, actually wait. Okay, so when I go to my home screen, you can see the gadget is removed. So if I remove anything from here, let's just say I'm gonna remove this, it's gonna be gone from the home screen as well. There you go. It's not helpful and it's not cool. So just turn it off right there and click apply. It needs to be applied, okay? Next up is a bonus tip. You can just tie, you could just tone it down like that and the apps will be really small. Actually not that small, but really helpful small. <laughs> Next up is gonna be the lock screen setting. So scroll down just a tiny bit and find something called lock screen. So let me just find lock screen if I can. Uh, lock screen, lock screen, lock screen. There you go. Now inside the lock screen, there's a setting called uh, now bar apparently it's something new it was it's been it used to be there but it's called now bar now so once you're inside the lock screen let's go all the way down actually not all the way down but just find the now bar right there once you do that you will have a lot of great apps that you, they are supported by the by the now app basically sports from google is basically the score it will show you if you watch football if you watch uh, basketball or anything like that it will show you right between the uh tiny things you can see it right there right between the low right right between the shortcuts actually so pretty pretty handy just turn it on and thank me later okay so it won't it won't show you right away but if you watch if you watch sports or anything like that you will love it next up is going to be the always on display just turn it off i don't it's just yeah just if you if you use always on display turn it on but i would not recommend it you just don't ask me why but just turn it off Next up is gonna be the security, inside the security. So scroll down until you find security. Now inside the security, you can just scroll down just a tiny bit until you find a little more security settings. So yeah, right there, see. Once you're inside that, you would find something called secure folder right there, see? All you have to do is click on that. This is by far one of the best settings a Samsung has. So just click on more, click on next, and you can see it's actually getting this secure folder ready so you can add a new pin to it so in this case i'm just going to click on my pin and just change it to something that you want so in this case i'm just just set a new pin by the way make sure it's the it's actually not the same pin yeah it's actually not the same pin so click allow and you can add a pattern as well as well as password the way you use the secure folder is by the way you can actually access into the control center if you don't have that you can add the secure folder as you can see right mine is right there so if you don't want that you can actually add it now to use the secure folder really simple by the way so just click on the click on your gallery or anything that you want to make it secure in this case i'm just have a single photo which i took literally a couple seconds ago that's gordon ramsey <laughs> Next up, you're gonna click on three dots right there, and you can see there is a move, move, move to secure folder right there, right there. See, and it's moved. And now to access, you can see that there's I don't have it in gallery, and you can you cannot even access it even in gallery. So to add that, I'm just gonna add my secure folder to my edge panel. So I'm just gonna find my secure right there. Just click on that, drag it, and uh, right there. So there you go. Okay, so what you need to do is just click on the edge panel so you can add the secure folder right there or you can just go into the uh, apps menu. You can just click on the secure folder. It will ask you for a pin or a, or a fingerprint actually. But in this case, I've done that. Now, as you can see, I have tons of great, great options. So I can just go to gallery and you can see that is my photo right there, see? That I'm actually made secure. So anything you do inside the secure folder will be secured. Okay, you can people cannot access it. Also, if you want to add more apps, you can actually do that. And you can see I can add Instagram or you can even add Facebook. And by the way, you need to make a different accounts for these. So if I open this Instagram, you can actually see that I don't have the account for it. So this is kind of like a second app, or I would say dual app which is really awesome. All right, so next up is gonna be the secure, actually, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, there you go. Next up is also into the secure settings. It's called pin apps, okay? So let me just 
right there. Allow allow apps to be pinned. Okay, so just turn it on, and I'll show you how it, how it can how you can make it work. The way the pin app works is basically if you go into the control center, you can see there's tons tons of apps running, right? And if you want it to be pinned, and that you don't want someone to leave that app, all you have to do is just click on the icon at the top, as you can see right there. Will give you a couple settings, and you can see this called pin app right there. Now they cannot leave. Actually, wait. <laughs> I just left it. Oh my God, it's crazy. Okay, so click on that and you can see there's a pin app, pin this app right there, see? Okay, as you can see, mine is pinned. Now they cannot, or anyone cannot go anywhere. See, no matter what I do, no matter what I do, they, I just, they cannot do anything. Now to move this, to remove the pin, all you have to do is swipe up and hold. Once you do that, it will ask you for a pin. All you have to do is enter your pin, which I'll do just right there. And there you go, it's unpinned. Which, which, is, which, which it can come in handy, okay? Don't get me wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to misguide you or anything. But I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm just showing you in case you need it, okay? I'll, I've seen. I've seen a lot of people give their phones to someone or friend or girlfriend or anything like that. They want the thing to be pinned, okay? <laughs> Next up. Next up is gonna be the advanced features. So all you have to do is go all the way down and find something called advanced features. Now this is the. This is where we'll be spending majority of this time, okay? First up is gonna be the labs. Now inside the labs, you can see there's tons of great settings, okay? So as you can see, the first one is going to be called multi-window for all apps. This is a must if you have a Samsung foldable. They, mean, they basically means, which I'm gonna show you by the way, so that basically means anything I hold, actually you can see, I can make it right there, and anything I hold, any, anything, any app, even if it's not supported, it will automatically go half and half, as you can see right there, see? And it's pretty cool. I mean, there's there's tons of great apps that do not support the multi-window. So you have to make sure it's turned on. Okay, so next up is gonna be the multi-window itself. Now, great, great settings in this. I would say turn all of them, and we will turn all of them, but I'm gonna show you exactly what they do. So, this is called swipe to split. I don't know why it's not, I don't know why it's turned off from the factory, but really need to turn it on. So once you do that, now, I'm gonna show you right here, okay? So the way you use this, you use two, two fingers and you're gonna swipe it right there. Swipe it like this, right there, see? And you have all the apps that you want it to be multitasking. So in this case, let's just say if you're chatting someone and you have some data to process, you can actually use a calculator. You can actually make it a tiny bit smaller as well, as you can see right there. Pretty, pretty cool, but if you turn it off, you can actually, you cannot do that. I mean. You can you cannot you cannot do this, which is which is crazy. You should be doing that now. Actually, okay. So next up is gonna be the swipe, swipe for pop up view. Now this is really helpful if you want multi if you do multitasking out often. So in this case, it's really simple. Just go to the edge of your fold. You can swipe it like this and make it smaller. And then if you just say if you're watching something, you can just tiny bit. You can make you can make things like that. See right there. Now you can use it as normally as you would, which is pretty awesome. And you can do tons on the site. So let's just say I'm watching the, I'm watching gallery. Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm watching gallery. Okay, I have to do is just make it a tiny bit smaller right there. And I'm just gonna hold it right there, see? Now I'm watching the gallery while I'm inside the settings, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome, right? So the way you make it full screen is just click on top, click top, click okay. There you go. Pretty awesome. You must turn it on, okay? Next up is gonna be the, menu with one window. That basically means if you see at the top, you can see this icon right there. If I turn this setting off, you can see it's not available at the moment. So if you do a lot of multitasking, you can just tap and hold and it will give you multiple settings. So in this case, even if I'm settings, you can see right there, I can just hold it. Actually, wait a minute, I'm using, I'm using the camera to see. So you can see, you can make it a tiny bit smaller. You can make it half and half. You can make it full screen. You can, you can exit if you want to, really helpful. And it's, it's just not bothering anyone. So make sure it's turned on. Now, next up, full screen in the split screen view, which is basically means when you do multitasking half and half on your cover screen, it will go full screen. Really cool, really helpful. Just turn it on. And if you do multitasking a lot on your tiny screen, which is not tiny anymore, but if you do, let me just show you. So actually, let me, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me just, okay. So, <laughs> so let's just say if you do multitasking a lot, you can just hold it and you can see right there. Uh, let me just open something else. If you do that, so you can see it's actually kind of full screen, which is pretty cool. So just turn it on, okay? It's really helpful and Oh my goodness, okay. Extremely difficult to open this because it's pretty much brand new. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, next gonna be the flex mode panel. That basically means if you do, if you, it's kind of like a tiny laptop, honestly. So like, if you do this, and if you, it will give you the option. It should give you the option. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what. So once you do that, actually, it will have the auto show panel and fold it. Once you do that, it's actually turned off for pretty much all the apps. All you have to do is just turn on all supported apps. And once you do that, and if you fold it like this, so let me just turn on the camera. Let me just, oh, sweet. There you go. Oh, 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 okay. It's a turn. Okay, see? Uh, what is this, like a touchpad? Oh, it's like a computer. Oh my goodness, you can zoom in. You can, wait a minute. You can, let me just, let me just zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love foldable. Pretty awesome. Okay, so you know what flex mode is, so I'm not gonna touch that. I'm just gonna turn it off. I don't use that often, and uh, yeah, just, just gonna turn it off. But if you do, extremely awesome. <laughs> Next up is gonna be the side button. Now, this is really helpful, by the way, if you do a lot of transactions or anything like that. In this case, as you can see, if I press the power button twice, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I just, wait, it's okay. One. Okay, there you go. When I when I do that, it will open up the camera. So I don't want that. In this case, if you do a lot of uh, gaming or if you play a lot of things, if you do a lot of things, you can just change it into whatever you like. So you can make it torch. You can just add apps. You can add apps as well. So I'm just gonna add Google Wallet. If that's like if I can find that right there. See. So I'm just gonna Google Wallet. So if every time I want to use the Google Wallet, you could just double tap. And there you go. We have the Google Wallet, which, <laughs> which is not set up. Next up is gonna be the long press. Now, in this case, you can just you can just um, change between the Google or Bixby. I would just rec I would just set it to Google and leave it. That's pretty much it. Now, next up is gonna be the motion and gestures. A lot of things. Okay, so lift to wake up, turn on. Basically means if it's lying down and you just picked it up, it will automatically turn on. Extremely useful, but it's not useful if you do a lot of, um, if you put a lot, if you put your phone into your pocket, actually into your bags a lot. So not really helpful. Now next up, double tap to turn on screen and double tap to turn off screen. Basically means to double tap anywhere, it will off. Double tap to turn on. Extremely awesome. Make sure these are turned off. Next up is gonna be palm touch to touch off screen. We don't want that actually. <laughs> Yeah, but just follow these settings. I'm not gonna explain any, I'm not gonna explain all of them, okay? All right, so next up is gonna be the one-handed mode inside the AdWords features. Now, really simple, click on turn on. And this is really, really helpful, by the way. If you are meant, if you are, if you are on the bigger screen and you want it to be smaller, just swipe down and we'll actually make it smaller. You can actually work. You can actually have a control center. Yeah, look at this tiny control center, which is crazy. And swipe. Swipe down again and you can have that. Now, this will work for pretty much anything you have. So in this case, I'm just gonna swipe down, go to my calendar, see? Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. I'm just gonna go to home screen. This is like a, this is like a tiny, uh, tiny smartphone. <laughs> and just swipe down and you will automatically go back to full screen, which is really helpful uh, if you use the bigger screen a lot, which is, which is not possible to use with one hand, so right? Yeah, use this feature, extremely handy. Really simple. Next up is inside the advanced features, all the way down, go to your dual messenger. Now, dual messenger basically means you can use multiple accounts for uh, each of the messengers. Every messenger you install, it will be listed here. In this case, I have WhatsApp or Messenger. I was just gonna tap on Messenger. You can see it, actually, it's gonna install a copy of your messenger. I'm not gonna do that, but you can just test it out. Pretty simple. Now, next up is gonna be a bonus. I'm, I know this is not 10, this is like a 50 or something. So just gonna hold it and I'm gonna give you the bonus. So, okay, actually not that. <laughs> so inside your recent apps, I don't like, I never liked this. I, I, I've I never liked this. And the way you dis disable this is click on the three dots right there, click on settings and you can see it. It will recommend, show recommend apps closed. And now you can see it's pretty clean, really awesome. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm Riz, and uh, let me know in the comment section below which which one, which of these settings you love the most, or which of the city, which of these settings that you will be using. I'm Riz, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Okay, it's gonna be real helpful for the channel and i'll catch you in the next one peace out oh and by the way i almost forgot next video is gonna be the iphone 16 pro max versus the fold 7 video camera not the photo camera just the video camera i really want to see how the new camera on this fold 7 compares to the pretty og and the only king at the moment of video camera of iphone yeah so be sure to subscribe for that okay catch you in the next one peace out